Welcome to Lesson 1 of Writing Music Strings for Beginners. In this tutorial series, I will start to explain how to make music in Java. I'll explain everything very slowly at first. We will build up to more complex things. This is Lesson 1. Let's begin. Part 1. If you are following along, you will need a Java editor. I use Eclipse. I'm going to assume you use Eclipse also. Next, you need JFUG. JFUG is a Java library that allows you to play music strings. JFUG can be downloaded, link in the description, or you can Google JFUG. Once on their website, you want the JAR file for download. When you have the library downloaded, you need to add the library to the Java project. In Eclipse, this is easy. Right-click the project and a menu pops up. Go to the Build Path and then move to the right. And some more menu pops up. Click Add External Archive. JAR selection window will pop up. Find the JFUG JAR file and press Open. Your JFUG library is now in your project. Make sure to import JFUG. See the selected area? Import org.jfug.player.player. .player. Part two. The system of music we are going to use has 12 notes and 10 octaves. This lesson is only going to focus on seven of those notes in the fourth octave. These seven notes make up the C major scale. Often in music, a piece will start with the first note in the scale. It also ends on that note. That's not a law, and there are lots of examples that don't follow this. But when a scale is played, that is how I have seen it. We define a string that will play the scale. If you don't know what a string is, it's a variable that holds text. The way we use it, the string must be in a certain format. This format, as we are going to see today, is a letter between A and G that is immediately followed by a 4 and a Q. These are separated by a space. The 4 indicates the octave. The Q indicates the duration for the note for a quarter note. As you can see, the scale starts with a C for Q and is followed by the next letter between A and G. The note that comes after G is A. It loops around. Once the music is written to the string, it is ready to play. But first, the player needs to be instantiated. Then it is simple as calling player.play and passing in the music string. It sounds like this. Part 3. Next, let's be a little more creative. We will take the notes in the scale and put them each in an array of strings. An array is a block of strings that each can be called using an array name and an integer in the range from zero through array length minus one. I name this array C underscore major underscore scale. This is a simplified version of the C major scale because only the fourth octave and only for a quarter note length are used. This will be enough for what we are going to do. In addition to the scale, we need an order for the notes to be played. This thing may be a little confusing. Let's think about this. The scale has eight notes. That means the indexes in the array go from zero through seven. All that needs to be called is a number in this range. Another array of integers can be populated with such numbers. Then a music string can be populated with the notes from the scale. To do this, a for loop is needed. 
I iterate through the entire integer array and keep adding notes to the music string. I can also write the music backwards as it is done in the second for loop. Then I get a player and call player.play and pass in the music string. It sounds like this. Part 4. Here the two arrays are used to create music with chords. This for loop does it just as we saw before. The difference is now that there are notes being grouped together. Notice the C major scale array is called multiple times. Between notes a plus in quotes has been added. Also notice the pat value is plus 2 and plus 4. Remember C, D, E, F, G, A, and B are in the scale. To make a chord all you have to do is using the scale add 2 and add 4. These three notes make a triad chord. Looking closely we see the modulus operator that is a percent sign. This makes sure that the notes in the chord stay in the index ray of the array C major scale. I have excluded the C4Q at the end of the array this time. I also made sure that the chord is only played every other note. I think this sounds a little better this way. This is done with the variable I modulus 2 equals 0. Just like in part 3, I also wrote the chord music backwards too. Now it's time again to get a player and call player.play passing in the music string. It sounds like this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell. And don't forget to like the video.